Good morning, guys. Well, it's been a long time since we've done this. We've been doing all our stuff individually, and we thought it'd be fun for you to see the whole team. I think it's been since almost one of the first ones that we've done this, right, guys? Yeah. So let's all say hi together. Here we go. Two, three. Hello. What's up? <clears throat> okay, great. So today we're talking about how Jesus gives us eternal life. Wow, this is going to be fun today, right, guys? Miss Tracy! Oh, Theo, what? I have, I have some questions. I have some questions. Hi there, Scott. Hi, Hi Theo. Hi. Hey, Freddie. How are you? Oh, you have right. questions? But I have oh. some questions. <laughs> Never mind. Go ahead. What are your questions? Well, the first one is, well, let me explain why I have these questions. I have been reading, and so is Freddie, John chapter 3. Now, my first question, what does it mean to be born again? That's impossible. Hmm. And... Can I ask a question? Oh, go ahead, Freddie. What does it mean by eternal? Oh. And the eternal. Third question... Is why does it matter to me? I don't understand this. I don't understand any of this. Yeah, I don't either. Well, those are really big topics, guys. You know, maybe what we should do, team, what do you think? Why don't we uh, take those questions and talk about them in today's program? How would that work? Yeah, I think we should do that. And you know what? The, to make sure everybody's on the same page with John chapter three, I love that story. I, I'm going to draw it out and do like a stop motion video um, and, yeah. and make it. Are you, are you sure you want to draw it out, Kathleen? I mean, I do. drawings? I, yes. That's I a really lot of artwork. Do. It's going to be really great. MJ is so excited. Um, I can tell. Okay. So I'm going to get it ready. And while I get it ready for you guys to watch, let's all worship together. So let's stand up and worship. We'll answer those questions. I'll show you a video. Let's do it. Great. We could do that. All right. Worship together, everybody.
story of Nicodemus and Jesus from the Bible in the book of John chapter 3 verses 1 through 17. There was a man named Nicodemus, a Jewish religious leader who was a Pharisee. After dark one evening, oh wait no not not that dark, there we go. After dark one evening he came to speak with Jesus. Rabbi, he said, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miraculous signs are evidence that God is with you. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth. Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean? exclaimed Nicodemus. How? Oh, wait. Ah, oh, man. I, got, I don't have room. Okay, I got to fix that. Let me just. Ah, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> Nicodemus said, how can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the spirit. And that's a dove. Like in the story of Jesus' baptism, the dove represented the Holy Spirit. So there you go. Anyway, Jesus continued, humans can reproduce only human life, but... The Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. So don't be surprised when I say you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it wants. See? Just as you can hear the wind but can't tell where it comes from or where it is going, so you can't explain how people are born of the Spirit. How are these things possible? Nicodemus asked. Jesus replied, you are a respected Jewish teacher, and yet you don't understand these things? I assure you, we tell you what we know and have seen, and yet you won't believe our testimony. But if you don't believe me when I tell you about earthly things, how can you possibly believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ever gone to heaven and returned, but the Son of Man has come down from heaven. And as Moses lifted up, oh wait, I need some room. Let me just. As Moses lifted up the bronze snake on a pole in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. Oh, here comes our memory verse. Ready? Jesus said, For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only Son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. Hi everybody, how are you? I hope you enjoyed that video. Boy, when Kathleen was talking about doing that, I didn't know what she meant, but that really came out well, and it gave us so much information. So, so much information that I want to make sure that you understand some things. So based on the video, what do you think it means to be born again? Why don't we talk about that with somebody that you're with for a minute and we'll come back together and I'll tell you I'll, what I think and I'll help you maybe try to understand it a little bit. See you in a minute.
It's good to see you again. So it can be really confusing. What does it mean to be born again? Well, we can't really go back to being babies who are born again. Jesus wasn't talking about going back in time to be born again as babies. Jesus uses birth as a symbol. When you're born, you're starting life. When you're born again, you're starting a new life, a spiritual life. So how can we be born again? Well, we need help, right? Just like when you needed your, your mom's help, we all needed our mom's help. When we were born the first time, the moms love us and they take care of us and they keep us healthy. Jesus helps us to be born into a new spiritual life. Jesus loves us. When he came down from heaven, he showed us how much he loves us. His loving act uh, gives us a way to have eternal life. So I hope that helps you understand how we're born again. We're born again into our a new, wonderful, spiritual life. See you guys soon. Good morning, kids. So it's swag bag time. Actually, we need a theme song for that. Like something like, swag bags are really cool. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, what you're going to need today is this one. And uh, this one with the cool silver strip. It's labeled for today. Hopefully you guys have it. And our main idea is right there on it. Look at that. Jesus gives us eternal life. And Freddie asked the question earlier, uh, what's eternal life? Although it was kind of different when he said it, but it was kind of like that. And that is a good question because we don't really use that word all the time. Like, excuse me, could I have an eternal cup of coffee? Which sounds like a pretty good idea, but it's not something we can get out in the normal world. Eternal simply means that it goes on and on and on forever and it never stops. And so we're gonna open our swag bags. There are two things to pull out. There's a silver strip and there should be two magnets, two little magnets. And one has a star on the side. Mine's red. Yours might be a different color. And also for this, you're going to need tape. And I forgot to tell you that. So what you should do if you don't have tape is hit pause right now. Don't worry. We'll wait. Okay. Hit pause. Go get tape. The video will stop. It'll start right where you are. So run, 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 run. Go get some tape. We'll wait. Okay. Ready? Okay. You're back. All right. Great. So now we all have tape. So here's what I want you to do. Now, we're talking about something that goes on forever and ever and ever and never stops, right? So if we were to take this and fold it in a, in a loop, you can see mine's a little bent, but that's okay. Um, fold it in a loop like that, we could go around forever and ever on the outside or forever and ever on the inside, but we would always be only on one side of that and we would never cover the full area. Now, if we take it like this, and we twist it. This is a little tricky, but if you can twist it, whoops, I twisted it too much, like that, here's where your tape's gonna come in handy, so pinch it. That's what we're looking for. You guys can kind of see what it looks like. Take a nice big piece of tape, and then we're gonna tape it here all the way around. You want it to be good and strong. Okay, there you go. So see, we've made this curvy little thing. This is called a Mobius strip, which I always thought would be a great name for a villain, right? The evil Dr. Mobius. But no, the Mobius strip, the thing about this is it only has one surface. If you were to start around this and keep going, you would always be walking, 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 and you would never stop. You'd always be on the same surface. You wouldn't have to switch, and you could do that forever. And we're gonna do that with our magnets here. So you have to be a little careful, but put your magnets on so that the star is either on the outside or the inside. It's on the outside for me. You can see that. And then if you grab it and you just carefully move them along your Mobius strip, see how I'm moving it along? And oh, it's a little hard there over the hump. But now I'm going, watch this, watch. So my magnet comes, ah! My magnet wants to fall off. That's what my magnet wants to do. And it keeps going. And as it hits this turn, it still goes around and around and around and around. Think of it this way. If it were an ant walking and that ant's eye view would always see a road in front of it and no matter how much it walked, it would always be going forward. It would go on forever and ever and ever. And that's why we use a Mobius strip 
to illustrate what eternal means. Eternal means goes on forever. And we remember in our memory verse that God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So now you know what eternal is. It goes on forever and ever. And we use the Mobius strip to remind us of that. And if you like it enough, we made it silver, so you could just make it a bracelet, because, hey, that would be cool. So there, what do you think? Do you like my Mobius strip jewelry? Shazam! Bing! All right, guys, we love you. We miss you. Have a great day. Love that new worship song we've been doing that talks about how our hope is in Jesus. 
Do you like that song, Professor Doug? I think that he does. So it was great today talking about how Jesus gives us eternal life, right? We saw my fabulous video about Nicodemus and Jesus and their conversation. And then Miss MJ answered the question, what does it mean to be born again? And she talked about how being born again means we're starting a new spiritual life with Jesus. Not that we're being actually reborn, but that Jesus is giving us new life. And then we talked about what does eternal mean? And Mr. Scott showed us the Mobius strip and how you keep going around it and around it and around it and you never stop. And that was super cool. Right, Professor Doug? Right. And so now we have the question, why does it matter to me? Why does it matter that God loved the world so much that he sent his one and only son and everybody who believes in him will have eternal life? Well, it's exactly that part. Everyone who believes in him, Jesus came for all of us to give all of us eternal life. And when we look at that memory verse, I want to do something that helps us understand just why it matters so much. So when we look at the verse, we're going to add our own name in there for the parts where it says world and everyone. It's right? So like this, I would say, for this is how God loved Kathleen. He gave his one and only son so that Kathleen, who believes in him, will not perish but have eternal life. Can we try that together? But can you put your name in there so that you can hear just how much Jesus loves you? Ready? So I'm going to say my name, but you say your own name. For this is how God loved Kathleen. He gave his one and only son so that if Kathleen believes in him, she will not perish, but have eternal life. Isn't that amazing? That's how much God loved you, everyone who's watching. That's how much he loves me and Scott and MJ and Betsy, Theo, Freddie, Professor Doug. That's how much he loves all of you. How much he loves Zach and Zoe and Matt and Nate and uh, Zach. Oh, I said Zach, huh? Uh, and Alex and everybody, how much he loves Andrew and Rebecca, how much he loves Addie and Rachel and Elijah and Joshua, how much he loves all of you, how much he loves Nora and Aiden and how much he loves Reese and Colin and Will and Ellie. He loves all of you so, so much. And so I hope that's what you remember today when you think about how Jesus gives you eternal life. Let's pray. Jesus, I thank you that you came to give us eternal life. I thank you that you came not to judge the world, but to save the world, that you came to save us. I pray that we would remember that all throughout the week. In your name I pray. Amen. Come around All of his blessings They come on down